Hello, I am Wander001, and this is my review of Battery Widget Reborn Beta. There are two versions of this particular Android app, which can be found in the Google Play Store. There is the beta version, which is what I have on my cell phone, or the paid version for $1.99. Now, with the paid version over the beta version, you get a stable build that won't that doesn't have the possibility of bricking your phone and will always be available. The beta version is just that. It is a beta version. It's a free version which will give you access to the newest updates of the app but also has the possibility of unforeseen incidences happening with it and also the possibility of it not being available forever. Uh, though it's been like that since I got the app and I got the app when I first got my phone so that's about two years now and every time you update the app it still says this won't be around forever but it's been two years so far. There are a few different ways to access the app but maybe I should tell you what the app is for. Battery Widget Reborn is a power slash health monitoring app for your cell phone it doesn't drain extra power from the battery because your cell phone is already gathering this information. It's just presenting it to you in a usable, readable form. Now, there are several ways that you can access this. There is the app icon, which you can have on your home screen, or there is what I prefer because I don't want an app taking, I don't want an extra app on my home screen. You have the drop down in the notification shade which gives you quick access to information that you set up. In this case, I have a chart that shows me the power drainage, lets me know the battery for my phone will be empty in about 14 hours, 44 minutes, and the temperature of the phone right now is 78. So that's the internal temperature in Fahrenheit. You can change that so that it displays in Celsius if you want. You also have these icons along the bottom of the battery widget tray which allow you to do different functions. Now these are all pre-programmable which I'll get into in a moment. Uh, in my case I have Wi-Fi on and off, search for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth on and off, data on and off, and a sleep slash power saver mode for battery widget reborn. If you tap on the app or tap on the icon in the system tray it brings you to a landing page. You can set this up and in my case I have it set up to go to the battery info page. In this case you can see that there is 53% battery in this lovely circle design that it is 53% drain. Again you have the information as you did on the notifications pull down, how much time until your battery is empty and the temperature as you can see it's gone up a degree 79 since I've been holding the phone while doing this. You also have a shortcut for battery usage. Clicking this will bring you into the Android battery usage and you could scroll through and find out what applications have been draining your battery the most. Going back, you have the power save or power setting icon. So again, same icons that are down here in the notification shade. You can set them up here. Now you'll notice the mute button isn't visible on the pull down shade. That's because of an option that we're going to get to in a moment. Swiping to the right brings you to the next area, which is your battery history. Here you can see the life expectancy of your battery in a chart and you can continue to swipe it to see just you know roughly in graphical form how long your battery will last it also gives you your current state so here you have discharge speed uh, the amount of time that it's been unplugged from the charger average life of the battery so this is how long you should get out of a full charge in my case I get one day one hour and 38 minutes as well as battery is usually fully charged in my case it says 12 hours and 27 minutes that's because I was having some problems with a uh, charging cable it was taking a ridiculous amount of time to charge my phone which is why that number is skewed if we swipe again to the right we're brought to the notifications area so from here we can change that little notifications icon this area right here we can change what's displayed so here if we want we can change classic round to all these other options. Time remaining can become anything you want. 
health, temperature, voltage, how long, uh, discharge, when discharge status. And you can swap these two will display the same information if you want. It's just a matter of where you want them to be displayed. Do you want it on the top? Do you want it on the bottom? This is how I have mine set up. You have actions on click. This is the page you're brought to when you click on that notification shade. So when I clicked on that, it brought me to the battery info. That's because I have it set here to do so. You can also set the notifications priority. If you don't want it on the top, like I have in mine, you could change that here and select default or low if you don't want it on top. But I like mine on top because it's the first thing I want to see. I want to know the status of my battery. Notification area chart, you can turn that on or off. As you can see, there's no chart anymore. It helps to shrink and save on real estate in the notification shade. I kind of like having it there, so I keep that clicked. Now, these buttons here are the lower portion of the shade. So these are the options that I have selected. You have other options that you can have background sync, mute sound, torch, which is a flashlight app. and Not a flashlight app, but it is flashlight functionality and uh, screen resolution. So let's say I put torch on and then go to my shade. You'll notice now there is a button to turn on the flashlight. You can't really see the button on, or can't see the flashlight because it's kind of bright in my room, but but I don't want that because I have an app just for the flashlight. And under the settings, power saving mode, you have auto night mode, which is a way to preserve battery power. Uh, in night mode, you could configure what is turned on and off. I just pretty much turn off everything when I enable night mode as a power savings method. Here you could say advanced settings, use degrees Fahrenheit. If you uncheck that, it'll be Celsius. Disable network communications, so this is do you want slight information being sent to Google about your phone or usages of the app? And you have where to buy the pro version, which will help support the developer, which I would recommend doing. I will eventually do that, but I just, I, I wanted to test it out before. Um, really, this is an app to tell you, as you can see here, temperature of my phone has gone up to 82 now since it's been in my hand. This is an app that will give you the health information of your phone as well as, I forgot to mention, up here in your systems tray area, it gives you a nice icon indicating in both a numeric and visual as to how much battery is left as opposed to the actual battery icon which is over there. Now, it does have widget options if you are a widget fan. I'm not particularly a widget fan, but it is completely configurable, so you can have a chart, you can change it, so it's right now it's on clear background color, you can have what happens when you click on this, where does it go, and I'm just gonna discard that change, go back into the widgets area again, drop the other widget, which is a bigger uh, circle version, and you can see all the options that you can do to change this. Really, it's a good app to have. It doesn't take up a lot of space. It's not resource intensive. If you want to know exactly how long you have battery life, maybe you want to find out what's causing a power drain, how long it takes you to charge your phone, exactly how long your phone has to live. It's an excellent app to have. If you are running non-altered version of Android, like this is Samsung, so it's got TouchWiz on it, which gives me access to these quick links up here. If you don't have that, you can add your own quick links to the app itself in the notifications tray, which is nice. So really, if you're looking for an app that's gonna give you information about your phone, how it performs, how healthy it is, I would recommend checking out Battery Widget Reborn beta version if you want the latest and greatest and not pay for it for a while. There's no guarantee that it'll stick around forever, but as of right now, two years and we're still good. If not, $1.99 the Google Play Store, I'll link to those in the description area below. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments area below. I've been Wonder 001. Thanks for watching.